The latest on that Ryan Lochte dancing with the stars drama. The protesters who rushed the stage are now out of jail and revealing why they did it. ABC's Matt Gutman has more. Joins us from Los Angeles. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Robin. Those two men telling us Lochte shouldn't be rewarded for dancing away from Brazilian police who've charged him with providing a false robbery report. But they said they never intended to hurt anyone in their stunt. What they did is force the show to reevaluate its security protocols. This morning, Dancing with the Stars reportedly upping security after these men rushed the dance floor to protest Ryan Lochte's participation. It wasn't just that pair. There were other protesters in the gallery chanting, liar, liar. In the wake of that bum rush, the show telling ABC News in a statement, a full evaluation of security procedures and protocols is taking place and we will make any changes deemed necessary. We caught up with those protesters after their release from jail Tuesday. We were actually at the Olympics. So what happened was once everything, uh, once Lochte did what he did, embarrassed Americans, the climate changed. What he did was lie about vandalizing a gas station in Rio, saying police had robbed him at gunpoint. Lochte is a coward, a liar, and under Brazilian law, a criminal. Both Sam Sotode and Barzin Sarudi now charged with misdemeanor trespassing. He embarrassed Americans on the world stage, and uh, this was our form of protest against that. We thought it was a joke, um, something part of the show, but you know, then when we realized it wasn't, that hurt, it broke my heart. Lochte hoping to earn back America's support. I've changed and I want to become a better person. Now, Lochte has apologized to the Rio Olympics for that gas station fiasco. He's also been slapped with what could be a career-ending suspension from USA Swimming. Now, those two protesters face their own date with the law due back in court on October 4th.